How do you like this platform? We had it specially constructed just for today. Isn't it great? First of all, uh, thank you for being here today. Um, this is an occasion that we, we have come together to praise the Lord for all that he has done. For his many blessings, we want to thank him and also thank those who have been blessed who have been blessed to be a part of this ministry. And uh, we also want to provide a brief glimpse today of what the Lord might have, has in store for the future. I want to thank all of those who are in attendance today and those who are not able to make it. Um, all those who have been a part of supporting this ministry, we thank so much. And uh, whether they have supported us through prayer or encouragement, or financial support or whatever that or however the Lord may have led we certainly appreciate everything that all of you have done and again for the others that weren't able to be here today for, for various reasons um, it truly has been an entire community effort and we have seen the Lord bless in, in so many ways I want to give a very special thanks to uh, our churches and their pastors I see several of those represented this morning um, without your financial support and your encouragement and all the things that you've done for us, like Brother Norman, Brother Paul, and Brother Gene Aller, and so many that are here today, without that, I don't, I don't know how we would have, uh, how we would have survived. Not only just survived, but thrived. Also, we uh, this morning we thank uh, a special thanks to our Wade Board of Directors and to the volunteers for sacrificially giving of their most important resource, their time. You do what you do, not because you have to do it, certainly not because you're paid to do it, because you don't get anything, not earthly anyway, but you do it because you have a love for our Lord and you want to give Him glory. You do it because you have a love for our youth and a passion for seeing them benefit spiritually, mentally, and physically. Thanks for what you do. You, uh, you want to make a better future for Tree County, for our youth, for our commonwealth, and for our country. It is not by request of man that you serve in this ministry. It is by calling of God, no doubt. Finally, we want to uh, give our sincere gratitude to those who have been personally involved in making the dream of this new youth center a reality. These include, but certainly are not limited to, Mr. Hamby and Ladd of True County Public School System. Thank you for working with us on a mutually benefiting, a exchange of property that was mutually benefiting, can't even talk, a mutual benefit exchange of properties that helped the school and helped us. We thank you very much. Thank you to Brother Matt Clark, who gave us he would not accept any payment. He gave us so much of his time and effort to survey and do different things. Brother Matt, we appreciate you and all you've done for us, more than we can express. Also want to thank uh, Brother Kyle Knopfsinger and Katie's Baptist Church for giving us a temporary home while we waited for the Lord to give us further instructions as to where we would go and how he would do it. Thanks to Mr. Quinn and Mr. Brain for helping us to navigate the uh, legal and zoning issues that were necessary to uh, get permission to build upon this property. Thanks to Mr. Wayne Clayton of CS Design and his team for uh, taking the uh, abstract ideas that we had and transforming them into a functional plan that WW Buildings, Campers Own Missions, and Ronnie Bridges and others are going to uh, make a reality. Thanks to uh, Brother Winston Perry Brother Winston here this morning, I saw his lovely wife, huh? He's on a bulldozer, and, I, and Brother Winston is one of the most modest men you ever want to meet. He wouldn't have wanted to come and be a, he doesn't want any recognition. So, but Brother Winston spent about three days making this pad for the new building look like a pad for the new building instead of part of a landfill. So we greatly appreciate Brother Winston and all that he's done. Um, also, we want to thank Mr. Ty Engelbright and First Southern Bank. Where are you, Brother Ty? I want to thank you, not for giving us a loan, but I want to thank you for proactively wanting to be a partner in helping build this ministry. Thank you and First Southern for that. We greatly appreciate it. I want to thank Judge Alexander and uh, Mayor King for offering to assist us in any way that is legally permittable. It's an open check that I know you'll 
you'll do everything you can, and we understand and we appreciate it very much. Thanks to Brother Mark Fry, who had just spoke and prayed with us. He is the chairman of our uh, building committee. Thanks to him and his team of Jerry Schistler, who is also serving as our project manager. Miss Martha Davis, Judy Terrell, Cliff Carnahan, Dennis Whitten, and Ken Traub. They are the they are the ones that have helped bring this to reality today. Thanks also to Sister Martha and to Sister Judy, who have been the head of our fundraising committee with a lot of good people helping them. But they, the Lord has blessed through their efforts in a mighty way. And because of them and those who have served with them, today we stand here having this new building approximately 70% paid for, we believe. And uh, our goal, of course, is to be good stewards of the Lord's money and we for the tie, we don't want to give the bank a lot of interest, okay? We don't want you to get a lot of interest. <laughs> and uh, lastly, but certainly not least, we want to thank the media for their support, particularly WKDZ, WHVO. Uh, where is Sister Robin? Right there in front of me, okay? As I mentioned to you a few minutes ago, all the media, but you guys have gone over and above in, in helping us promote fundraisers, events, everything. We greatly appreciate it. Thanks to all the Katie's media. Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. John 14, 6. As you know, the, uh, the verse upon which the name of this youth center is based, the way. Five years ago this week, the Lord opened the doors of a new youth center and a ministry called the way. It was an answer to the prayers of many Christians and also the answer to the questions that had gone on in Tree County for decades with people asking what is there for our youth to do after school hours other than cruising Highway 68 and, stay and parking in front of Napa. <laughs> Since that time, over a thousand Tree County students, despite the distance from school, despite the weather, despite the limited facilities that we have been able to offer them in the past, Despite all those things, over a thousand students have came through the doors of the Way Youth Ministry. They have experienced a safe and a productive environment to enjoy recreation, nourishment, fellowship, and worship. In my 50 plus years of being a Christian, I have never seen the Lord's hand in something more than I have in this ministry. He has provided for our needs many times before we even realized that we had it. faithfulness of local Christians to uh, have already provided almost 70% of the funding as I mentioned a few moments ago to have a debt-free ministry and I believe each of us have no doubt that God will provide the remainder of what is needed and use the way to bless Tree County families for generations to come as much as the Lord has already blessed this ministry in Tree County the best is not only yet to come but it is yet to even be imagined what the Lord is going to do with this ministry. For the Lord is good, His mercy is everlasting, and His truth endureth to all generations. Psalms 105. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you very much. <laughs>